TVC Entertainment and That's also it. this Friday, today, mm. we have someone special joining us on Wake Up Extra at 2.30 by yeah. IG Live. Make sure you join us. Mm. So let's kick off the show um, with the weekend, okay? So some words of motivation. Come All right, welcome to the show, everyone. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. It's the weekend. It's Friday. Hey, Mike. Universal, yeah, mm. as you know. Uh, Universal appeal of music. I mean, mm. um, now you can listen to a South African, Zimbabwe, and Rwanda, and, and you just feel the flow. So that's, mm -hmm. it's gra gradually coming apart with football when it comes to universal appeal. Mm -hmm. but there's just one language. Mm. Yeah. Music, yeah. music has just one which, language. Mm. Did you guys see what's trending? Yeah. Burner Boy seems to be trending. Monsters yeah. You Made. Mm. It's a track he's done with uh, Chris, uh, oh, I can't remember his name. Mm. Martins, Chris Martins. And oh. it is massive. I will be listening to that all weekend. Wow. Mm. Absolutely. Is, is that lovely. coming up in his upcoming album? Yes, it is coming up. Um, what's it? Um, Stand Tall? tall yeah, stand? Uh, so Twice as Tall. Twice as Tall, yeah. It's going to be mm. a big one, I think, because wow. um, he's even got the backing of Beyonce on this one as well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm looking I mean, forward after, to that. I mean, so, with yeah. his exploits on uh, Black is King and yeah. all the whole, um, yeah. you know, his uh, Jaya, yeah, that's a song, yeah, and all that. So, and then there's supposed to be a song. Uh, did he supposed to executive produce or something? Yeah, executive oh. produce his song, his album. Oh, oh, wow, so, like as wow. in, so Baba things well. just feel like Can't they're falling into place for him. Yeah, yeah. He so one thing I must commend him for is he's got a really, really strong PR team. Mm -hmm. Those yeah. guys are very, very strategic about his publicity. Okay, and and I mean they've been able to put him in on the global, you know, scene. Okay. And I mean, I like his progress. Yeah, I like his progress. Yeah. They need to work it, on his attitude yeah. though. Yeah, that, that, yeah, that's right. That's why I wouldn't I, I wouldn't heal his PR team so much. Yeah. Uh, I think it's his talent and it's what his he can PR do. Trust me, the thing his about, PR team, the thing those about guys talent. are, I mean, the thing about trust talents me, is I know that a few of them, they really good. You expect a certain good. amount of arrogance. You expect it. It comes with all people that are on the road to uh, egg, excellence that's uh. the truth whenever you find someone in that particular area there is a, they might hide it they might pull it back their team might you know code it but there is a certain it's an excuse titi it's no. like you're asking anybody who wants to be big so and I, famous to okay. have a, a so, bit, bit of arrogance with so that. if you yeah. have if you if you have a billion billion dollar project right and you meet a billionaire do you expect the person to behave all like, oh, I don't really yes. have that much? I expect yes. to be confident, yes. but not arrogant. Yes. Really? See, yes. that's, that's the thing. There's a very, sure but there's a, a thin line. A very, and yes. you know the irony of it all? What? I have been in lots of gatherings mm. where there are billionaires everywhere, and they interact with you like, mm. You, you know, like, 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 you're like, you're, like, like your, your yeah, mates, exactly. like exactly. your you're age mates. It's amazing. I mean, that is one of the most <laughs> humbling <laughs> things I have ever you experienced know what? Okay, in so my life. So if you meet a billionaire in the boardroom, that's when he showcases how much of a lion he is. I this is Burner Boy's that. boardroom. I agree with that. The entertainment No, 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 no. Burner Boy is, 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 is mm. arrogant in every level. Uh, <laughs> on, tweet, on social media, <laughs> in person, <laughs> in, at, in, home. at home. Are you sure? Well, I don't know. I Paul don't know. <laughs> there was a documentary. No, there was a documentary that showcased him and his yeah. family, his mother, and the guy who... It was his mother was in shock. I she was like his grandfather also. Really, it was terrible. His grandfather who was video. Um, oh, Fela's wow. manager. Okay, so I've not seen that. Terrible. His grandfather but, also. But you course, see the point here. Eh? Mm. She made mention of something, and yes, it does happen with a lot of people who have mm. put in efforts. Take leave billionaires first. Look, you're looking at people who maybe like sports people, mm. people like musicians and all of that. Look at someone like Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah. Look at yeah. someone like Lionel Messi. Yeah. Both of them. In some ways, Messi is the one that's subdued. You know, mm -hmm. he puts it up. But when you listen to some things, when you hear about some things that happen in the training pitch and all that, ah. you might tend to listen to, to you know, or understand where it is coming from. Yeah. I, I tend I, to understand I, a bit where yeah. it is. Because yeah. it's a very thin line. Mm. Very, very thin very. line. Between okay. that confidence and arrogance. That's very we, thin It's line. something we should discuss a little later on. We should. But, uh, let me, at this point, take the news update. And we're starting with this story. More troops have been deployed to southern Kaduna to, kill, to curb the killings. Multiple resources, or rather multiple sources, and the coordinator, Defense Media Operations Major General John Eneche, confirmed that special forces have joined the fray under an ongoing operation codenamed Safe Haven. Defense correspondent Sifon Essien reports. Southern Kaduna is the hotbed of a few that has witnessed some of the worst killings in Nigeria. We are tired, we are fed up. Protesters in several parts of the country have taken to the streets decrying the loss of life and property in the crisis. Previous attempts to curtail the spate of killings 
yielded little results. Lately, renewed violence prompted the scaling up of operations by security forces, and this has resulted in the arrest of some suspects. Now, more boots are on ground in the flashpoints. It's not too long we started. It was after the president gave the directive, and then we saw what was going on there. We increased our effort. Military sources in the state confirmed the strength of the troops is enough to confront any onslaught. Boosted with special operations forces, and we expect that they will begin to get positive results, not without the cooperation of the locals. For the people of southern Kaduna, putting an end to the killings is the only justification for any operation. And that may also require getting the culprits to face the weight of the law. Sifon ACN TVC News, Abuja. The former deputy governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Obadiah Malaifia, who was earlier invited by the Department of State Services, DSS, for questioning over an allegation he made on social media, has been released after being held for six hours in their custody. Mr. Obadiah, during an online radio interview, alleged that one of the northern governors is the commander of Boko Haram terrorists. Mr. Obadiah was allowed to leave the DSS facility in Jos after meeting up the conditions given for his release by DSS. TS TVC News, Funon Joshua reports. Family members, friends, fans, and well-wishers of Obadiah Melafia all converge at the premises of the Department of State Services to show their dissatisfaction following his invitation by the DSS. The invitation was so he could answer questions regarding an interview he granted recently to an online radio station where he alleged a northern governor was the commander of Boko Haram. Despite pleas from the security operatives, some of the supporters at the DSS headquarters in Jos refused to leave the premises, insisting that they would not leave until their leader is released. Margaret Obadiah is the wife of a former CBN deputy governor. She calls on the international community to come to the aid of her husband, who she said was only exercising his freedom of speech as enshrined in the Constitution. I am very, very upset and I'm very, very sad because I'm not with my husband right now. I'm not actually pleased that he was invited. After over three hours of waiting, Mr. Obadiah's lawyer later came out from the DSS facility and updated journalists and the crowd about the unfolding events. The way they presented it to us is that they wanted him to give an information that would help them. The crowd with their placard after some hours gathered momentum and were chanting for government to stop the killings in southern Kaduna. After six hours in the custody of the DSS, the former CBN deputy governor was finally released to go home amidst celebration by his supporters. He then addressed journalists on the ground. I appreciate the DSS as well. They treated us very well. They treated me very well. They were very gracious. All these killings must stop. Although the DSS let him go, they say he will be summoned back when the need arises. Phnom Joshua, TVC News, Joss. The Northeast Development Commission says it will work closely with the network of civil society organizations in the region for effective monitoring and feedback of its activities. Managing Director of the Commission, Mohamed Goni Akali, stated this when the CSOs paid a visit to the headquarters of the, the Commission. North the Northeast Development Commission has continued to execute developmental projects to victims of insurgency in the Northeast region. Their activities have drawn the attention of many organizations seeking to collaborate with the Commission in achieving their goals. Recently, governors of the Northeast pledged their support to the Commission for effective service delivery to the people of the region. Now, the network of civil society organization from the region is seeking a partnership with the commission. They believe the synergy would clear misconceptions the populace may have about the commission. 
He also commends the network of civil society organizations for coming up with recommendations on how best the commission should carry out its activities. And that's about it on the news update for this hour. We're going to take a quick break and return with sports. Thank you, Mike. Yes, and uh, we're going to start the headlines with The Guardian this morning. Friday, 14th of August, 2020. We're already almost halfway through the month, believe it or not. Uh, on the cover of The Guardian, we have this headline. <clears throat> it says, delayed bailout unsettles aviation health sectors. Stakeholders lament, blame inconsistency, or rather inconsistent policy. Uh, it also says here, less than 5% CBN credit approved health sector plight compounded by importation. Ikeja Hotel posts 7.327 billion Naira revenue in 2019. Uh, it also says here why 90% local insurers lose big risks uh, to foreign underwriters. Operators tie sector survival to government's policy as insurers doubt federal government's 1 trillion Naira premium benchmark. And uh, that's what we have on the cover of The Guardian. And for the nation this morning, um, we've got these headlines. Government's Nigerians economy, uh, Nigeria's economy risks return to recession. Uh, debt sustainability crisis likely. Businesses should key into 2.6 trillion Naira package. And uh, at the bottom of the page there, Unilag crisis deepens as Senate union backs uh, VC. Lecturers, workers demand governing councils sack. The picture there is one of the professor right there in the middle and in suit um, during the workers' uh, march in his support at the campus. This was just yesterday. Again, at the bottom, governors blame past leaders, clerics for banditry, why southern Kaduna killings persist. And at the top of the nation, NJC tips four justices for Supreme Court, 18 others for High Court. U.S. visa restriction over soon, progress made on talks. And finally, Second Republic Minister Akinji de Barrett Anybada and NBC slams five million Naira fine on radio station. All that inside the nation this morning. I wonder which radio station that is. I wonder. Mm. Hmm. Uh, we have the Vanguard newspaper here. It says Obaseki or Shomole's men at war over attack on convoy. Obaseki Izeyamu battle for monarch's blessings get titles. Meanwhile, Body George blasts Fayoshe over remarks on Obaseki. Uh, it also says here, INEC to deploy 20,000 ad hoc staff 
for polls. On COVID-19, Lagos records 69 new infections as confirmed cases rise to 48,116. Federal government moves to end U.S. visa restrictions on Nigeria. How ex-AGF Adoke gave me $2.2 million cash to repay bank loan, according to a witness. Workers reject Unilag VC's removal. And uh, Mailafia's Boko Haram claims NBC slams 5 million naira fine on radio station. And uh, let's see, Nigeria studying Russia's vaccine claims, according to federal government, as the naira rises to 385 naira to the dollar in the irony window. That's what we have on the cover of the Vanguard. And we move on now to the Nigerian Tribune. Um, major headline, FG spends 1.57 trillion naira on debt servicing, uh, 1.61 trillion naira on personnel pensions. Release 1 trillion naira for capital projects. Proposes $40 um, dollar oil benchmark for two, uh, 2021 fiscal year as finance minister warns of possible recession. At the top, hoodlums to tackle Basaki's campaign team. 818 million children worldwide risk contracting COVID-19, says UNICEF. PTF says 684 evacuees out of 14,000 tested positive. NBC's hate speech prohibition code offensive to free speech, says Atiku, as radio station is fined 5 million naira for hate speech. And um, uh, at the bottom of the page, uh, you know, like crisis, crisis worsens, sacked VC goes to court. Boko Haram terrorists now recruiting child soldiers, says MNJTF, and father runs mad after seven family members die of food poisoning in Zampara State. The picture here, President Mohamed Buhari virtually inaugurating the Nigerian Content uh, Tower, a 17-story headquarters building of the Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board. Um, that's it for the front page of the Tribune. Uh, find the stories inside. Okay, I have the Daily Sun with me now. I think we still have time for the Daily Sun. It says here uh, on uh, <clears throat> Niger, uh, killing spree continues. Page six has more on this. It says here, bandits murder 14, steal cows. Governor Bello demands special military camp as Khan declares national prayers August 23rd. It also shows a small photo story of the scene of a fire incident at Guinness Warehouse along Wemco Road, Ogbae Keja, uh, in Lagos yesterday. It uh, looks like a major fire there. Uh, it also says here, the Minister of Aviation, Hadi Sirka, and other dignitaries uh, inspecting Akano Ibiam Airport perimeter fence demolished by a land grabber in Inugu yesterday. War in NBC over new code. Uh, board chair hits Lai Mohammed, NBC boss. Commission fines radio station 5 million naira for airing ex-CBN governor's interview, and uh, mm, quite a lot there. And then I'll wrap it with this one. It says here, Unilag Senate, four staff unions, four staff unions reject Ogundikpe sack as VC and ask federal government to dissolve council. That's what we have on the cover of the Daily Sun. Yeah, and indeed, that's it for the papers this morning. Yeah, we still yes. have quite a, 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 there's quite a lot of stories. Mm. About the know? Guinness fire, that was a big one. Started yeah. from 2 a.m. yesterday and Goodness. it raged all the way into morning. Um, Goodness it me. was really tough for the fire service to put mm. it out. Mm. Um, I followed yeah. the report on TVC News and it was, it was quite an event. Goodness um, me. Yeah. Uh, let's hope they, they have everything under control. So if you are passing through those areas, make sure you take care. Be considerate as well. Yeah. We have to take a quick break and be back with more. Welcome back. It's still Wake Up Nigeria and it's about time for us to take a quick look at the traffic update. Now, our goal is to make sure that you leave wherever you are and get to your destination safe and sound as quickly as possible. And uh, I'm starting from Bega bus stop. Or is it Berger bus stop? I don't, I don't know which one to use these days. Um, but it does look like it's quite an easy journey uh, from Bega all the way to Victoria Island this morning. But there are some trouble spots for you to look out for. Uh, apparently, along the expressway, that's the Lagos Ibadan expressway that heads towards Third Mainland Bridge, um, you will need to slow down after Chinatown. Uh, now, from Chinatown all the way through Ogudu Bypass, all the way uh, to Owuru Junction, just after the exit that goes to uh, Bagada, as soon as you pass there, you'll have 
a really sweet journey all the way across the bridge. It'll be nice and smooth for you until you get to a Butemeta junction. Uh, then it slows down once again, and it's going to be a slow-moving journey all the way to Victoria Island, apparently. Uh, but still, not to worry, if you leave right now, you'll be there in about 33 minutes. So it's not that hard of a journey, but it will slow you down a little. Um, I'm wondering if we have any updates on social media about what's with the situation on the roads now. Anybody? Yeah. Go. All right, cool. So if you're heading to the third mainland bridge coming from Apapa or the Amoadofi area, well, then you're going to meet with uh, a bit of restriction because there's uh, some road constructions or rep repairs going on just after the Oshodi Bridge. Uh, this has been reduced to just one lane. So if it used to take you about an hour today, it might take you an hour and 45 minutes um, because uh, it's a very tight spot and it goes all the way up until the foot of the bridge at the third mainland bridge. So um, have in mind this when you're setting out this morning. And apart from that, the third mainland bridge seems to be, uh, it's free, rather free. It's just regular today. So that should be good once you get to the foot, uh, the foot of it. You're, 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 you're home free or mm -hmm. you're yep. almost at work. It, it seems like that through most of the roads today. Uh, it seems like a very peaceful Friday. If mm -hmm. you are coming from Aja area of Lagos, heading towards Victoria Island, that whole stretch of the Leki Ekbe Expressway seems to be in the blue. Uh, when I say in the blue, it's, it's just free, free, free. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the junctions, traffic lights uh, slow you down for just a little, and then uh, you keep moving. Uh, for some reason, it's uh, you know a lot freer than usual, uh, but it doesn't mean it'll be like that all through the day. So if you are about to leave home, just make You're sure really you make calm. it a quick one. Really uh, it does seem freer on the expressway than through the alternative routes. So if you do decide to take the alternative routes, you have a 14-minute journey. But if you stay on the Lekki Ekbe Expressway, you'll be where you need to be in about 30 minutes. That's if you're heading to Victoria Island. All right, then. So uh, that's all I have on traffic updates. I would love to know what we're talking about in the kitchen. All righty then. All mm. right. Okay, so um, I came across this tweet a um, few days ago. And um, <clears throat> the conversation basically was around paternity tests. Mm -hmm. And someone tweeted, paternity test is not our culture. If she's your wife, mm. her child is yours. <coughs> mm. Mike, mm. let me hear what you have to say. If she's your wife, her child is yours. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, but... So he actually meant like ours. Our okay, ours. Uh, yes. If... If your wife has a child, okay. that's not yours. Okay. The child is ours. Uh -huh. Ours, as in the it family. It's not your child, it's your child. It's not your child, it's your it child. It means if your she child. cheated, if she went out and got a child, exactly. it's still your child, you're supposed to embrace so, the child. So, you know, talking about paternity tests not being in your culture, are we trying to say that we don't improve or we don't progress with the rest of the world? Paternity mm. tests are things, it's, it's, it's part of evolution. Paternity tests were not always there from the beginning. You understand? So are we trying to say that we're always? So that's he. I don't know what he's saying, yeah? But um, many people believe so. Um, maybe, yes. Mm -hmm. At least it came from one of you. <laughs> no, <laughs> what if it came from a guy. Somebody it came else. from somebody in the marriage. Mm. Or yeah. in the union. Exactly. Okay. If, he, if you do the paternity test and then it's not connected to anyone, that's when it's this a problem. Is, this is what I think, yeah? <laughs> First off, I'm looking at it from uh, the angle of infidelity. Uh, mm. First off, somebody went out and did something they weren't supposed to do and you brought back home a child. It depends when I find out about this. If I found out about the child right from the get-go when this happened, that it's not my child, I don't know how I'll feel. But if I had that child for six months, a year, three years, hmm. I don't think I can trade the love that I've, the love and affection I've poured into that relationship between me and the child for anything else. Because once you start that, mm -hmm. there's no going back from there's there. There's no breaking that. I don't down. know about other people, but it's not just so, you can't just throw away love. Mm because you find out that you're not related to a person biologically. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Some, of the mo the, some of the friendliest or some of the closest people you have are not even related to you by blood. Yeah. Yeah. The same thing here when it comes to this child. But there is still that argument that has to be had why this had to take so long for you to actually let me know why am I fathering somebody else's child, mm. um, what happened, and all those questions. But you know that there are a lot, lot of women who actually do not know that the child isn't their husband. That was yeah. where, that was where yeah. I was. Did they trip and yeah. fall into some... No, I was going to You know what? I was actually going to go <laughs> They there. didn't know when yes, it happened. They, they, they yes, could have fallen yes. pregnant. Yeah. Hey, it's sickness, Abby. From, you know, from being with the husband oh. and being with the side man. Oh. So, 
she could have fallen pregnant. Okay, I may so not be exactly, she I'm may not, not be sure. sure. Was this what a video? Egg, exactly, she may not was be sure what not particular sure. sperm cell must have, you know, yeah. um, enveloped. But the, there's something they said the woman, the mother always knows. Are you sure about that? Mm. I, I do know. Sure about that? I've seen it somewhere. Look, I believe, I don't, I, it's look, not, look, it's not research or something. I don't think they always know. I don't think they always know. So I saw one video. One particular hormone doesn't like trigger when you have it across with your husband. Was it a video or was it a story? Was there an actual case you're making reference to? Because I saw a video very similar to this situation. Yeah. Uh, and and the, the guy was really, really angry. Um, and he packaged, you know. Yeah, everybody saw that. Yeah, saw that one. Saw that video, but that, but I was on the I was a little on the fence about that one, because because of the way he did it. Um, I I started thinking about the child, uh, the child's future, mm -hmm. and how dedicated that man is to that child. As mm. you said, you can't throw away that love. Mm -hmm. You can't throw it away. Let me tell you something so, about that guy. What what? If he had the the tenacity of mind to sit down and mm. concoct that plan, yeah. he's not going to throw away that child. Because yeah. he was too calm, calm enough to yeah. wrap all of that in one. Was yeah, the package. I think, I think he thought about it. If it is real, though, mm. because I'm not sure if it's real. Mm. A couple that of people video. said that it wasn't. Yes, no. Yeah. You know, but if it's real, I think. Once there's a camera, once there's a camera in front, man, uh, you know how it is you now. You have to debate whether it's real or not. <laughs> yeah. but, but I, I, honestly, I don't think. So, okay, let me put this one out there. So, I, I have twins. Mm. Yeah? And uh, the doctor said when we found out it was twins that one of the twins was 24 hours older than the other. Mm. Right? Oh, wow, you guys had two sessions. <laughs> well, if you want to put it that way. If you want to put it that way. And, and you would never know that one no. child was 24 hours older than the other. So there's all those biological things that are happening in there. Yeah. So look at me. Look at me like this. Look at me. Uh, yeah, I'm look at me like that. Now. So, <laughs> so God forbid. You know, my, my kids look exactly like my husband, so there's no question. Nobody should come <laughs> and meet me and ask me any question. But the truth That's is, what grace. if? What <laughs> if? No, I'm just saying, what if? The what lady, if the lady in question, um, environment down. and association. Let me land now. Is what cost it? What if, for instance, the lady in question had two sessions with two different people uh -huh. on the same day? And it has happened before. It, yes, has, it happened. has happened. You see, yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. what if that happens? That they look, never know. Someone once said that. Look, you can determine how your kids look. What they see. Ah. Growing up is who they start looking like. <laughs> My mother yeah, says but, that. But, you no, know, and that's why. There's I'd a question I actually really want to ask here, <laughs> and it is: is hmm, hmm. <laughs> is a woman having another having a child? This question I want to ask now. Yes, I want to ask. Are you sure? Are you sure? Is 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 a father fathering another child enough to break up a marriage? No. Uh, that means is if a it father does, or a mother. A father, because Fathering the men are always the ones to walk out, walk, walk out of that It's a goose and gander situation. I mean, mm. if, 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 if fathers can do that, I, I don't see why a marriage should break because a mother has a child outside. Mm. Mm. But it does, um, it does at the end of the day, you know, in our society, man, mm. we, we yeah, track out. That's, we the know, that's how we are, man. The man does you it. know how many women have accepted foreign children mm. into their homes? Thank you very much. Do you understand how many foreign bodies have entered? So the best way to quell on this is you're ensure that the child looks like the father. <laughs> well, I'm saying for okay. because the truth is, some of these women have no idea mm. about this. But they do 15, I, I 20 went years to of school. marriage, they have no idea that I went to husbands school have kids outside. with a friend, mm -hmm. all the way from 100 level up until we're in five, uh, 400 level. And one day he comes to school looking very morose and sad. I'm like, ah, I'm not going to tell his name. Mm. I'm like, oh, what's the matter now? What's going on? And he said, he just found out that he's got stepbrothers and sisters. I'm like, oh. Wow. Did you know about them since? Like, no, he just found out mm -hmm. that they've been living with, with, with him all his life. Wow. So his brothers and sisters, over the nights, just became stepbrothers and sisters because he found out that they were half-brothers and sisters. Oh, mm -hmm. sorry, half-brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. not, not, not stepsisters. Because mm -hmm. his mother um, confessed to the fact that uh, of four of them, he's the only one who's his father's child. Mm. Wow. Out of wow. four. So right? this is real time. This is like yes. me experiencing. Uh, yes. I've seen the effect on, on people. On the so yeah. the thing mm. is, Mazino, mm -hmm. that reality is becoming mm. too Content. realistic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like there are rising cases mm. every day. There are even statistics mm. that prove that the, the, the shot one third mm. of, for using Nigeria, mm -hmm. one third of children and not actually their father's children. Wow. Okay. You know, at the oh, end, me. at the end, there's this, um, there's this uh, <coughs> vernacular uh, quote 
Something where you know, no, no, go kill you. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, so it goes back, to, it goes back to your question from the beginning, <laughs> MM. So, a paternity, uh, paternity test. Why yeah. are you doing it? There's no point. Now. There's no point. It's our children. I yes, it's our children. So <laughs> just accept the child as it is. As long as you're in a marriage, it's a family situation. I'm not all together with you on that one, Shao. Go through, if you expect <laughs> your wife, you know, to... Oh, okay, I'm getting... You're getting... Okay. Yeah. Let's, let's, end, so, let's end it, let's end it. Let's end it. Let's end, let's end, let's end okay. it. Let's, let's, let's oh. just let it go. But the conversation continues on Online. social media. Please, we want to hear what you have to say. We want to know your opinion. Please... Just give it to us with our hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. Are all the children yours? Ooh, wow. The we'll take a break. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> The other day, one of the things that I, one of my values of my wall is integrity, which means that my actions and my words align. I try as much as possible. I always say, one of the things I'm proudest of, my ego is very proud of this, is that nobody can ever go to anything I've ever written or said ever in my life and say that I took an action that was in opposition to that. That is important to me. So imagine how I feel when somebody says to me, I no longer trust your integrity. And imagine it when the person says it from a place of what I consider to be bad faith. It hurts, it stings, and I want to oppose it. Somebody said to me recently that they didn't trust my integrity. And when I heard it... Yeah, could you like put the balls down? Just... I can't, they're part of me. Look. You know what? Welcome to the second hour of your premium breakfast family TV show. It's family, everyone. <laughs> family. We got you covered for the next one hour. Oh, yes, we minutes. do. Mm. Let's get to it, shall we? All righty. Um, now, of course, the kitchen is going to be full of activity right now. And MM, the amazing, is standing right there with our chef for the day. Different mm. from Afrobeat. Mm. Mm. Yeah, there's and a difference. By the way, oh, yes. I am so loving Rema's I too love mm, mm. I uh, like uh, when you hear your husband singing it, you're like, eh? You still like woman. Okay, oh. no problem. <laughs> I'm a woman, so yeah. yeah. So the, the, the big news, let's just still keep it with uh, twice as tall. Mm -hmm. The accolades are really, Boring really in on, big, big, big. on a major Brobinogian level. People are just pouring accolades, the album, Didi's trending, of yeah. course, in Nigeria because of the album also. And then guess and, what? This yeah. morning, I what? saw a tweet. Yeah. Saying that 
it's beginning to have the Beyonce effect because mm. she endorsed it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if it's just the Beyonce effect because no, I, I see Brenna trending on a regular anyway without Beyonce. Honestly, I think Beyonce is doing a lot to connect with Africa and she needs Africans like Brenna mm -hmm. to also help that cause, whichever cause she's just, I don't know, this mm -hmm. African cause, cause, cause. Well, Africa is a big market. Everybody's yeah. trying to get an African yeah. on their album or Al something yeah. like that. So, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. they know our music is taking over the world, so they want to key into our music, our sound. Mm -hmm. That thing about the, the, the African sound that makes you think black is king. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no pun exactly, intended. exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. And I remember when Whiskey was, you know, just, you know, beginning to, you know, get that, get that acclaim. global of acclaim. Mm. People were, ah, Whiskey. Wait. And now Burner Boy is taking it Did to Did you say Whiskey? Have you heard Pami? Pami? It's mm. also trending. Yeah. It's a Whiskey track, actually. It's not a Whiskey track. It's mm -hmm. a DJ. Um, but he's on the track. He's on the track, yeah, that's. <laughs> and he sounds so unlike Whiskey. Mm. I first of all thought it was, they were singing about Pam Wine. But oh. it's yeah. Pami, Mac Pami, something okay. like that. Okay. It's a beautiful track. It's got a Dickley Gold on it as well. Mm -hmm. I'm scared because it's happening already. Now you're thinking it's a Whiskey track when it's not. Mm -hmm. So not he's yeah. taking over the track. That's and I cannot remember the name of the actual. Wow. <laughs> that, that is not. It happens. It happens. Uh, it happens. It happens. It happens. Yeah. It's, it's, it's the effect, the influence, and all DJ, of that. DJ Sims. Did, did it yeah. tunes? So yes. it happens, wow. it happens. It's the effect of, Did that's why it it is, you, you hear somebody in the industry say, ah, don't feature this guy, you. Mm. You feature this guy, you go take the track from you. <laughs> you know? I've heard that so quite a happen. few times. I've this actually happened. heard that quite a few times. And uh, well, I think if the DJ does some more PR work, he can, he can use it and Take ride it on it and climb, climb with that extra fame he's got. All right, then it's about time for us to take the news update and we start with this. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control and CDC has reported 373 new cases of coronavirus overnight, taking the country's total number of cases to 48,116. Of the new cases, Lagos recorded the highest figure with 69 cases, followed by Oshun with 41. Other states in high numbers uh, with, uh, include Kaduna with 40 new cases. Oyo ha also had 40 cases. The Federal Capital Territory recorded 35 cases. So far, 34,309 people have been discharged, while 966 people have died from COVID-19-related complications. The Federal Executive Council has approved the sum of 8.49 billion naira for the procurement of 12 medical equipment uh, for testing of cases of COVID-19 by the Nigeria Center for Disease Control. The equipment is to keep the country in a state of preparedness to contain community transmission of the virus, which has affected more than 586 local government areas. Minister of Health Osage Ohanire says the plan is to have at least one sample collection center in every local government. More troops have been deployed to southern Kaduna to curb the killings. Multiple sources of the coordinator, or rather, and the coordinator, Defense Media Operations Major General John Eneche, confirmed that the special forces have joined the fray under the ongoing operation codenamed Safe Haven. Southern Kaduna is the hotbed of a feud that has witnessed some of the worst killings in Nigeria. Protesters in several parts of the country have taken to the streets, decrying the loss of life and property in the crisis. Previous attempts to curtail the spate of killings yielded little result. Lately, renewed violence prompted the scaling up of operations by security forces, and this has resulted in the arrest of some suspects. Now, more boots are on the ground in the flashpoints. Military sources in the state confirm the strength of the truths is enough to confront any onslaught. For the people of southern Kaduna, putting an end to the killings is the only justification for any operation. Moving outside the country now, Afghanistan's government has started releasing the last 400 Taliban prisoners, paving the way for long-delayed peace talks. 80 prisoners were set free Thursday, some of whose, whom's crimes include attacks on Afghans and foreigners. The release was a condition to begin negotiations to end 19 years of conflict in the country. 
Peace talks are expected to start in Qatar within days of the full release. The prisoners include some 44 insurgents who are of particular concern to the United States and other countries for their high-profile attacks. Meanwhile, Kaduna State Governor Nasir El Rufai has played host to the primate of the Anglican Communion and the other leaders in the church in Nigeria. The clerics say their visit is to commiserate with the state over its security challenges. Correspondent Tesem Akende reports. Kaduna State Governor Nasir Erufai in company of bishops of the Anglican Communion in Nigeria. They are led by primates of the church in the country and in their company are members of the church. The Christian leaders are the government house on a solidarity visit. They are displeased at security challenges in the state which has led to killing of several people. The clerics say they are identifying with the government hoping for an end to the killings. It is not an easy situation, but we are trusting God that the Lord will help us to forge ahead and build a stable, not only church, but also nation. And so we are here to assure you of our standing with the government of the day and seeing that we contribute our quota for the upbuilding Please, the governor is pleased at the visit and says he's also hopeful the killings would stop. Nasi Erufai says his pain is that the main drivers of the security challenges are clerics. Our study of the situation over four decades has shown that the main drivers of this violence are a few clerics, a very small percentage of clerics that use their platform not to preach peaceful coexistence and promote our common humanity, but use their platform and their revered position rather to, to divide and incite violence. The clerics then prayed for the governor and his team for wisdom to lead the state. Elsewhere, the Supreme Council for Sharia Affairs is calling on residents across the southern Sanitarial district of the state to embrace peace. They trace the history of the region to what they call Southern Zaria, saying the name Southern Kaduna is a modification. We call on all the people of Southern Zaria, both Muslims and non-Muslims, to embrace peace and understand that no one has the right and power to push the other out of the region. It is by divine destiny of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that they lived for centuries and are still living together, despite their numerous differences. Communities across the southern senatorial district of Kaduna State have for years witnessed killings. The government says it hopes an end to the killings has come. Tessum Akende, TVC News. Kaduna. And that's it on the news updates. Welcome back. It's Welcome. About time for us to take another quick look at the headlines in the dailies. All right, so I'm going to begin with the Nation newspaper. Today is Friday, August 14th, 2020. And the first headline here, the biggest one, government Nigeria's economy risks return to recession. Debt sustainability crisis likely. Businesses should key into 2.6 trillion naira package. And at the bottom of the page, governors blame past leaders and clerics for banditry. Why southern Kaduna killings persist. And there is that talk about the Unilag VC as Unilag crisis deepens as Senate Union uh, back VC. Lecturers, workers demand governing council sack and there's a picture right there in the front page with the v vc right smack in the middle with the uh, protesters um, uh, during the workers march in support of the vc at the campus yesterday at the top of the page u.s visa restrictions over soon progress made on talks and second republic minister akinjide buried in Ibada. nbc slams five millionaire fine on radio station that's it for the front page of the nation 
And I have the Guardian newspaper with me here now. Delayed bailout unsettles aviation health sectors. Stakeholders lament, blame inconsistent policy. Less than 5% CBN credit approved. Health sector plight compounded by importation. It says here also Ikeja Hotel posts 7.327 billion naira revenue in 2019. NBC board overrules minister on broadcasting code. Why 90% local insurers lose big risks uh, to foreign underwriters and uh, operators tie sector survival to government policy as insurers doubt federal government's one trillion naira premium benchmark. That's what we have on the cover of The Guardian. Moving on now to the Sun newspaper. Um, first headline here, Niger. Killing spree continues, bandits murder 14 still cows. Uh, Governor Bello demands special military camp and can declares national prayers August 23rd. A picture of the staff of Unilag again uh, protesting the removal of the VC Chancellor and uh, Professor Oluwatoni Ogunikbe on the campus. And Unilag Senate, four staff union reject Ogunikbe's sack as VC, ask FG to dissolve council. At the top, this is quite alarming. Prepare for floods, Nema warns Southeast. I think this is an annual thing and it's happening again. Um, and kidnapping, Evans, others, no fate today. That's it for the Sun newspaper. I have the Nigerian Tribune here now. It says here, federal government on the budget, federal government spends 1.57 trillion naira on debt servicing and 1.61 trillion naira on personnel and pension. Releases 1 trillion naira for capital projects, proposes 10 or rather $40 oil benchmark for 2021 fiscal year as finance minister warns of possible recession. Unilag crisis worsens, sacked VC goes to court. Boko Haram terrorists now recruiting child soldiers, says MNJTF. Father runs mad after seven family members die of food poisoning in Zamfara. Uh, gunmen kill 14 in Niger. Military deploys special operations in southern Kaduna. Stop denying us weapons to fight terrorism, federal government to world powers. Right at the top here, it says 818 million children worldwide risk contracting COVID-19, according to UNICEF. And uh, NBC's hate speech prohibition code offensive to free speech. Now, this is according to Atiku, as radio station is fined 5 million naira for hate speech. That's what we have on the Nigerian Tribune. Moving on, Daily Trust. Um, FG says economy faces fresh hurdles. Nigeria vulnerable to further forex crisis, experts proffer solutions. And at the top of the paper, FG dumps national identity card. Whoa. I'm, I'm FG a dumps confused. national identity card. Um, Is it a physical dumping or? Or, or the, the concept of it. Oh, do they want to start again? We'll find out and let you know in Goodness just a bit. Me. Boko Haram recruiting child soldiers says M, uh, M, NJTF and Buhari unveils 17 Surrey local content house in Bayelsa State. Um, at the bottom here, I got my information on Boko Haram from traders, says Melafia. Apologizes over comment, knocks as NBC slams 5 million naira uh, fine on radio station. And there are a couple of writers under there. Um, a couple of stories, how killing of boy raised fears in just community and seven family members die of food poisoning in Zamfara state. And why Edo Parallel House uh, of Assembly cannot stand as lawyer. That's it for the Daily Trust. Mm. Let's see, do we have enough time for the yes, Vanguard? We do. It says here, Obaseki or Shomole's men at war over attack on convoy. Obaseki is a Yamu battle for monarch's blessings and get titles. Uh, Body George blasts Fayoshe over remarks on Obaseki. It also says here, federal government moves to end US visa restrictions on Nigeria. Workers reject Unilag VC's removal. Right at the top of the page here, Nigeria may slide into recession, says Finance Minister. Page 43 has more on that. Uh, Southern Kaduna used report on 1992 crisis to avert further killings. Hmm, interesting. Oil demand to drop 8 million barrels as air travel dips. And uh, Nigeria studying Russia's vaccine, vaccine claims, according mm -hmm. to federal government. 
Uh, now, it also says on Naira Watch, Naira rises to 385.83 Naira to the dollar in the INE window. And finally, uh, COVID-19. Lagos records 69 new infections as confirmed cases rise to 48,116. That's a drop in the number there, 69, thankfully. Mm -hmm. All right, now, so that's it for the papers, but we've still got more on Wake Up Nigeria. Yeah. So let's do some fitness, shall we? Yeah. Let's get to the garden and see what we have for today. Let's get that blood pumping in your system. Do stay tuned. Welcome back. You're still on to Wake Up Nigeria, guys. And we are in the kitchen live with Chef Deborah. And this morning, she's preparing something really nice. It's got a bit of sass. I like it. Yam piccata with pepper sauce. Yeah. So um, we are going local and international. I like the mix, right? Yeah. Okay. So for uh, yam piccata, what are the ingredients we are working with? Okay, we're working with um, the veggies, that's the bear peppers, mm. spring onion, the onions. We're working with um, eggs, garlic, flour, that's um And then for our pepper sauce? Yes, for our pepper, pepper sauce. Okay. Yes. Then there's um, curry here, thyme, black pepper, and the yellow dry pepper. Still for the pepper sauce? Yes. For the then for our yam piccata? For our yam piccata, we are using this. That's for yam piccata. Okay. Okay, then we're using this for the yam piccata. Okay. Why this one is for the sauce. A little bit of I, this. I, I don't want us sauce. to mix it them up. I want people to be very clear on the ingredients for the yam piccata okay. and the ingredients for the pepper sauce. Okay. This here, mm. here mm -hmm. are for the yam piccata. yam piccata. So for our yam piccata, we're working with spring onions, onions, red, yellow, green yeah. peppers, yeah. and curry and thyme, yes. flour and eggs. That's, That's for our yam, yam piccata. piccata. Then for our pepper sauce, we have a mix of pepper, blend yeah. of pepper here. Yes. Yes. And our oil. That's our vegetable oil yeah. and our seasonings, of course. Yes, that's Very all. Very simple. And I'm, like I said earlier, I am so looking forward to this recipe because I think I'd want to try it tomorrow. You know, it's a weekend. This is like a feel-good weekend meal. Like, you wake up in the morning and you just want to have a really good meal and you have nowhere to go to and you have all the time to layer all the ingredients and prepare them to your own taste and satisfaction so first of all for our yam piccata what are we doing we are going to boil okay to boil the yam um about 85 percent okay yes so we take it out mm -hmm. and like to you know get cold a bit then before we fry we we saute it with eggs and um Curry and thyme. Okay, so are we mixing the curry and thyme in the eggs? Yes, we are. Okay, so we're going to mix that in, and once our yam is ready, yeah. we're going to dip it. Dip it in. And then roll over the flour, the flour and fry. fry yeah. Ooh, so this is like making yamarita. Yeah, but, but in a different kind of way. In a different kind of way, kind of way you okay. add uh, the chopped, I, I've not chopped Vegetables. it yet, chopped one on top of the yam, mm. then you fry. Mm. So it gives it another different color. Mm. I'm so going to try this tomorrow, guys. And if you're watching right now and you know that you're going to try this, please would like to see videos or pictures of you making this meal this weekend. Send it to us on our social media platforms. We'll like to see and hear from you. There's still so much more guys on the show. Next up, guys, it's the EPL chat with me and Chef are doing some amazing stuff thank you very much titi and mazina wasn't happy there you guys talking about my crush dwayne johnson but we are not going to talk about dwayne johnson for now we're talking about food and chef debbie is here and she's making yam piccata and peppered sauce so guys our yam is almost ready so the idea here is to make sure our yam is cooked before we start frying so where are we at chef debbie we're whisking the eggs. With okay, the so what do you have in the eggs quickly? I have uh, thyme, curry, mm -hmm. the black pepper, and the dry yellow pepper. Okay. Then with some vegetables. Yeah. The bell peppers, the onions, and the spring onions. Spring onions, fantastic. So now that our yam is almost ready, we are going to dip in the boiled yam, right, in the eggs. Yes. And then roll it over the flour, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And then fry. 
and I'm sure we can all make peppered sauce. I mean, first of all, this sauce is so easy to make, right? Yeah, okay. With vegetable oil and your blended pepper, you're good to go. So this is one recipe you should definitely try out tomorrow. It is a weekend, so you have all the time to relax. You can even try it with boiled potatoes if you like, right? Yeah, if you want to. Yeah, you can be adventurous with food. I mean, who says? Right. <laughs> All right. So there's still so much more guys on the show. I guess what people in City's voice, it's game day. So stay with us. But of yeah. course, you can never go wrong with the right kind of formula. Uh, formula. Yeah. It's all almost all here. All of that. What? <laughs> it's as simple as one plus one. Yeah. Or ABC. Can, can, can I have those back, please? No, I, I, I need these balls. Please put them back. No. This, this is for game day. She's I, where, playing with the props are? already. <laughs> if you haven't been tuned in, then hey, you've missed quite a bit, but not to worry. Mm -hmm. Pick Up Nigeria is the kind of show that always has something extra for you. We have 45 minutes to go, and we can ensure you that you're going to be having a blast. Absolutely. So many great things still lined up for your viewing pleasure. Trust us to deliver on that one. Yes. Um, thank you Get very your balls much. Back. All right. <laughs> I know everybody's wondering what this is about. You will find out. It's going to be fantastic. There's still a bit of, um, we're confused who's going to be participating in the games, but. Trust sure. us, it's going to be fun all the way today. It's um... Yeah, it's one of those. My name is Titi Laya Oyinso, and that's Mazino Appeal. You can stream the show live <laughs> online on tvcentertainment.tv and, of course, on Facebook at TVC Connect. Also, join us on our social media pages and send in your comments. We would like to hear from you guys. Please kindly use the hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC. Yes, so you can watch all our exciting episodes all past 800 of them. 800. 800 episodes today. Imagine that. You can go to YouTube and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the bell so you can get notified as soon as any video drops. And also, today we have someone special joining us on Wake Up Extra by 2.30 p.m. Yes, by IG Live. So make sure you are following us already. Yes, so the kitchen is a go, guys. Smell some yum. Some sizzling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And we also have a special guest today. Mm. Yeah, King98, a South African-based Zim Zimbabwean, <laughs> Zimbabwean, is a hip-hop musician most known for his release uh, of the 2019 album Francesca under the tutelage of DJ Sims. Yes, so DJ Sims, DJ Sims, DJ Sims. Woo! And there's still quite a bit that we need to share. Uh, let's take a seat, shall we? Oh, goodness. Okay. Mikey. So, um... Yeah. There's something uh, me, uh, we're talking about, mm -hmm. I didn't want to talk about because um, it's going to take a very long time, but maybe next week we might just touch on it. What is this? A player, Ilicic, he's um, a football player, so this okay. is it. A guy loves football, good player, very, very instrumental to his team's um, success, right? Okay. He, every time he scores, he celebrates with this and signal, this sign that is supposed to show love to his wife. He loves his wife. Oh, the one. Oh, okay. He loves her every single goal. That's yeah. to tell you how much he loves the, yeah, the woman. Yeah. Right? And then, of course, Corona outbreak, she's back at home, yeah. and then he's in Italy and all of that, and decides to pay his wife a surprise. Oh, mm. miss it. No, no. And, and he found her with another man. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, Who is this other man? No. We don't know the person and all of that. But the point is now he's... He's, he's devastated. He, very. Wow. He's, he, this is not the first time. He's been a bit fragile mentally, you know, but he's, oh. he, he lost a teammate or a friend mm -hmm. earlier on, uh, about two years back, David, the story. That was a Fiorentina player. He, 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 he had bouts. Very, he, it was very hard for him to handle. But this time, he's almost considering retiring from football. Oh, wow. Because, because this of this incident. Bouts, very, he, it was very hard for him to handle. But this time, he's almost considering retiring from football. Oh, wow. Because, because this, of this incident? It, yeah. She's more like a raisin the tear. Everything oh, was around her. Mm. I don't know that, mm. man. We will talk about this so much more next week or something, but... Uh, oh, <laughs> so I, know, I know you guys want to talk so much about someone it. Someone during his match is dedicated to... <laughs> yeah. Oh, goodness this is such me. a downer, Mike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now that that's done, <laughs> let's do the news now. Thank you very much, Mike, but we have to go and do the news. Um, uh, do stay tuned. Mm. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control, NCDC, reported 373 new cases of coronavirus overnight, taking the country's total number of cases to 48,116. Of the new cases, Lagos recorded the highest figure with 69 cases, followed by Oshun 
with 41. Other states with high numbers include Kaduna with 40 new cases. Oyo also had 40 cases. The Federal Capital Territory recorded 35 cases. So far, 34,309 people have been discharged, while 966 have died from COVID-19 related complications. The Federal Executive Council has approved the sum of 8.49 billion naira for the procurement of 12 medical equipment for testing of cases of COVID-19 by the Nigeria Center for Disease Control. The equipment is to keep the country in a state of preparedness to contain community transmission of the virus, which has affected more than 586 local government areas. Minister of Health Osage Ohanire says the plan is to have at least one sample collection center in every local government. More troops have been deployed to southern Kaduna to curb the killings. Multiple sources of the, and the coordinator, Defense Media Operations Major General John Eneche, confirm that special forces have joined the fray under the ongoing operation codenamed Safe Haven. Southern Kaduna is the hotbed of a feud that has witnessed some of the worst killings in Nigeria. Protesters in several parts of the country have taken to the streets, decrying the loss of life and property in the crisis. Previous attempts to curtail the spate of killings yielded little result. Lately, renewed violence prompted the scaling up of operations by security forces, and this has resulted in the arrest of some suspects. Now, more boots are on the ground in the flashpoints. Military sources in the state confirm the strength of the troops is enough to confront any onslaught. For the people of southern Kaduna, putting an end to the killings is the only justification for any operation. Outside the country now, Afghanistan's government has started releasing the last 400 Taliban prisoners, paving the way for long-delayed peace talks. 80 prisoners were set free Thursday, some of whose crimes include attacks on Afghans and foreigners. The release was a condition to begin negotiations to end 19 years of conflict in the country. Peace talks are expected to start in Qatar within days of the full release. The prisoners include some 44 insurgents who are of particular concern to the United States and other countries for their roles in high profile attacks. And that's it on the news update for today on Wake Up Nigeria. Now it's time for the news update with Mike. All right, welcome to the garden. It's game day! Yes, sir. Game day! I've been looking forward to this. Y'all are amateurs. Y'all are amateurs. Yeah. I'm going to do it. Wait, wait, wait. So It's game day! Yeah. Thank you very much, Titi. Thank you. Yeah, so today, cool. this is called the ping pong shake-off. Mm -hmm. Just in shake case you've been wondering why I've been so excited, that's because we're going to see the ladies absolutely shake it. So this is the idea of ladies. Mm -hmm. We're going to have this. Yeah. It's, uh, you can play this game at, you know, at home you yeah. know, over the weekend. We're going to have the ladies tie this around themselves. Yeah. And then we're going to have the ping pong balls inside of it. 15 yeah. for each person. Okay. The winner would be the first person to have all the balls shaken out of the box. <laughs> of the box. All right. Uh, Use whatever method. out of the box idea. Thank <laughs> Don't you. Don't leave me. Nice one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so already I'm going to start by putting 15 balls in each of this. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. So, MM, Six, just seven. so you know, my ball game is on point. It's nine. <laughs> 10, 11, You're 12, 13, 13, now. 13 15. All right, careful, careful. 15, 15 tied okay, around so you. I'm supposed to tie this on my around waist, you. right? Yep, yep. Are you sure I can't just Oops. tie it on the front? MM, no, no, nope. around nope. your waist, behind. Make sure nothing falls out. Okay, I'll you need help to you. help. Thank you. Need exactly, because I mean, we need assistance Oops. here. Oops. No oh, balls are already falling out too. That's ah, balls are okay, not falling okay. anywhere yet. They're not falling anywhere. <laughs> yeah. So we're All supposed right. to tie this up. Tie it, tie it, tie it. Okay. Ooh. Yep. All right. Don't 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 start. So we're All supposed right. to tie this up. Tie it, tie it, tie it. Okay. Ooh. Yep. All right. Don't 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 start until. All right, you go All ahead right. and tie it. Okay. Go ahead and tie it. So it's tight. Yes, it's tight. It feels tight. like I'm tying or jar. Are you hey, ready? Back like you're back in a baby. <laughs> okay. That should be very, very familiar to you guys. Yeah, okay. Well. All right. So So what are we supposed to do? Uh Whatever method comes to you, mm -hmm. make sure the balls just empty the box. Okay. I I, I suggest twerking. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you would. That would look. you like that? That look. 
All right, so are we right. ready? So there, is there going to be music? We need no music. music. I, oh. will, I will motivate you. Yeah. All right. I will so motivate you. Will you sing for us? I will I'll try. Oh. Shake it up. All right. Shake yeah, that's a good up. one. Oh, okay. Are you guys ready? All right, so are we supposed to back the camera? Uh, if you want to, if you feel like. Oh, my God. <laughs> On your marks. Get, Get set. set. Go. <laughs> Oh my god, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> that that keep going, keep going, keep going. I haven't even lost Go on. Go on. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> no, you're getting it, you're getting it. <laughs> I'm going to stop you. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Emma? Okay, so at this point, try, what's try, going on? Try twerking. I don't know if is coming out. City, harder, 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 harder. Oh wow. Guys, 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 you have like 10 some more sort of seconds. Exercise. 10 more seconds. This is not as beautiful as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> and time. Stop. Don't move. Titi, will you untie? Oh, wow. Untie. untie. I need you to untie. And then we're going to count this how many. Terrible. I swear. Let's find out who the winner is. Okay, I think I tied it too tight. Yeah, it's okay. Under, Maybe under, we'll under. There we go. We're good. We're good. Okay. All right. So, Titi, this is yours. Okay. MM, this is yours. Let's count for MM <laughs> first. The person with the least number of balls. Who's uh, the winner? We have oh my God, the two. Ball. Okay. And four. No! I thought it was just three. For MM. You never can tell. You might be the winner. No, she's not. Hang on. And what? for Titi, we have what? two. What? And we have three. <laughs> Four, wow. five, this is a constant six, <laughs> seven, <laughs> eight, Whoa. nine, oh, wow. six, six balls out. How many balls were inside wow. that? Fifteen. Oh, oh no. What? I Congratulations. Don't Thank you. There's our yes. winner. I'm winning a lot on the show today. You are she is, she is, I mean, I won is. the game segment. Absolutely. And I'm winning. So with uh, all uh. this. Right. Nothing it, happened. It is not by power, it's by mind. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Well, congratulations to you, <laughs> MM. Thank Here's you. our winner for today. Thank you. I'm sure you guys found that fun. You guys, yeah. you can do this at home over the weekend. If it's it's a family game, yeah. it's great. And um, if you guys um, put a couple of shots my, to that. And good exercise. My booty shaking game is really off. Awesome. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, thank All you very much, Titi. Now we know who's got it. Thank <laughs> you very much, <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a break. When we get back, we're going to be inside the kitchen taking some of that good yam. Be doing games, this like as if I'm the right. one who did the games. <laughs> All right, welcome back. So <clears throat> we have a guest for the segment. Our special guest for today is King98, whose real name is Zlogat Ngozashi Dunzo, a South African-based Zimbabwean hip-hop musician most known for the release of his 2019 album Francesca under the tutelage of DJ Sims. Now, the launch of the al his album um, attracted big artists on the African continent like uh, Davido. Yes, Zlatan, Zlatan. Mm -hmm. and Nadia Naka. Mm -hmm. And it's got other, other tracks with mm. uh, other artists yes, on it. Yes. Um, so let's talk to King98. Hello, King good 98. morning. Good morning. I don't know if guys, are you where you are. Hey, there you are. How are you doing, man? No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm great. How are you guys? Fantastic. All right. I'm, I'm excited. I, I really would really want to know King98. <laughs> How did you come about that name? Um, I think one of my friends gave me the name when I was still in high school. Because okay. back in high school, people used to call me ASAP. So I think just one day, one of my friends just woke up and was like, you know, I think you're a king boy in 98. Oh. Then I just added the truth together and then I just had king 98. Okay. Oh, nice. Not bad at all. Now, we've seen your track record. We've seen the number of people that you have made um, great music with. Mm -hmm. It involves people like our very own David O. Are you guys friends, first of all, you and David O? Brothers. I, was, oh. I can consider my brother like a brother to me. Whenever I'm oh. in Nigeria, okay. always, I'm always at his house. So okay. he's, like, he's like a big brother, like the big brother I never had. Okay, I can imagine. Do people often compare you guys, not because of your music, mm. but because of your background? Now you know what I mean. Oh, oh yeah, no, no, definitely. For me, mm. that's why I'm close to him, because he relates to me, I relate to him. So it's like we share the same story. So, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of people do. And for me, it's normal. Like, Okay. If, if his dad can help me out with his music, then also my dad can help me out. So it, that's how that's how it is. So I don't really like take mm. it as a negative. Like for me, it's something that I'm proud of. Like, okay, I can actually get to bond with David because of stuff like this. So he take he treats me a certain way. 
All right, all right, cool. Okay, so let's talk about um, our music here and the music that you do in South Africa because you are based in mm -hmm. South Africa. Yeah, and then being that you've done a lot of collaborations here with Nigerian arts, how is that being? How's the experience being? Uh, for me, I think working with like um, the Nigerian artists, um, it's been eye-opening mm -hmm. and it's only helped me and built me to, um, to be a big brand. Oh. And in terms of like the sound, it is a bit different, but for me, I do enjoy the Afro piece, especially the song I did with Slatan, uh, Pull Up. Mm -hmm. I do enjoy the Afro piece. Like for me, even any day, any time, should it be in my car or my phone, I just play a lot of Afro piece because that that's what I'm pursuing. So down south, um, especially in South Africa, Afro piece, are, uh, they are big, but it's just that um, they also have these genres such as uh, I'm a piano, house and hip hop, you know, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um that the afro beats it, 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 it's, it's still there but i can't say it's, it's as powerful as they you know as they am a piano type of stuff so for me i tend to go um waste because that's okay. what i think I mean, <coughs> sorry good. quickly i'd like to know so who's your 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 yep. favorite nigerian music good act question. right now nah you know you know the answer already <laughs> <laughs> no tell no, us no, no, please no, no. i'd like you to be very honest not because of your relationship with him no nah, my, my favorite is, is david o. That mm. is my favorite. Okay. All right. My okay. Fair enough. It's okay. We love him too. That's all right. Yeah. No, <laughs> but now yeah. this is something very interesting. <clears throat> a couple of years ago, you could tell when you heard a South African tr uh, track, mm -hmm. when you heard a Zimbabwean track, a, a Gambian or a Kenyan track, mm. when you heard a Nigerian track, you could tell them the apart. Mm -hmm. But these days, do mm. you agree with me that it's all beginning to weld together and sound the same? The influences are beginning to oh, rub yeah. off on each other. Nah, definitely. Mm. Do you think that that's happened uh, with your music as well? Because when I heard your track, I thought, ah, this is a Nigerian Nigeria track. track. Yeah. But then it's, it's, it wasn't, it's King 98. Why, what do you think is responsible for that? I think it's, we're at a stage whereby, like everyone in the entire continent, you don't, we don't really care about where you're from now. It's more of like, mm. long as I'm African, so Africans should always sound African. Just because I'm from Zimbabwe um, doesn't mean that I can't, they say sound Nigerian, maybe. I can't really say sound, but like, you know, you know what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah. I think now it's just a matter of like, people now enjoy the music. Like, we just enjoy the music. We don't really care about okay, where you're from now. Like, as long as we're all Africans, we can just enjoy it. I made a song with Diamond in Swahili, really, and mm -hmm. I just did my own thing. People just love the song in the sense that it just came out organic, it came out nice, it came out fresh, and you know, people just enjoy the music. So I think. We're at a stage whereby we're now supporting each other as Africans, especially in the music scene. So that's why the sound doesn't, it's not, it's not as different anymore. It's just one and the same thing because we're now working together. All right, um, King 19. Now, we know that you're a rapper, yeah? And mm -hmm. I know that we don't, you know, feel much of that in, you know, some of your songs. But I'd like to know, between the, I mean, Zimbabwean, South African, and Nigerian rap industry, because, I mean, you've had this three you know, this, this in few years, music, music in, in your music. I mean, mm -hmm. you can tell. Can you like, how has, you know, the South African, Zimbabwe and the Nigerian industry influenced you as a rapper? Mm, I think for the Nigerian industry, it's influenced me to, to, to be out the box, to try out new beats. Because for me, what I do is that I'm a rapper whereby I rap on Afro beats. Even the song I did was like that pull up. I was rapping on the song, but I was like singing on the song. So <sighs> the beats that come from Nigeria, they're a bit different. Uh -huh. But in South Africa, um, South Africa is straight up, straight up hip hop. Like it's straight mm. up hip hop, 808, the tempo, everything is just like hip hop. You don't have to mix. Then in Zimbabwe, it's, um, it's like Nigeria whereby you have to like mix a lot of stuff so that um, the song then turns out to be an Afrobeat song, but you're just rapping on it because hip hop is not really as big in Zimbabwe. It's big, but not as big as compared to South Africa. Okay. Okay, you had Nasty C yeah. and Lay Lizzie on your track, Wako. Mm. Um, great track, by the way. That's the one I, I think I, I love best. Um, Nasty C, I've always been a fan of his. So when it was on your record, I was like, fantastic. Hey, so uh, what influence was that? Was that the South African influence there you were talking about on that track, Wako? Oh, yeah, definitely. Ah. Yeah, because I grew up, I grew up, I grew up in Zimbabwe. So me went, working with Nasty C, I was just like, you know, what, let me mm -hmm. just do something with my, I know it's gonna pop. So hip hop, right. speaking South African in Zimbabwe, and Nasty C is just a big name. So for me, yes, I made yes, that record, and you know, 
I just I just wanted to be like big in Southern Africa. I didn't really think it was going to be big in East and West okay. Africa, but surprisingly, it actually did well. All right. All right. Yeah, so finally, I'd like to know, I know that they say the beat makes the music. So who is that, you know, music producer that you're dying to work with? Hmm. Mm. Damn. I, that's it's actually a good question. I think for me, I've worked with, in, in Africa? Yes, in already, Africa. I've in worked, Africa. In Africa. I, I, I can't, right now, I can't say anyone because I think I've worked with everyone. Mm. Oh. Well, all right then. All right. Hey, thank, thank you very you much, so King much. 98. Mm -hmm. It's been great having you on. We're looking forward to having you here in Nigeria. Let's uh, let's have some of that music here if you want to do it. Oh, <laughs> what? Dude, what? Dude, what? what? Mike, Did you see I'm what Titi was doing? What? What was I doing? What was that? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I was trying to get the ball. She out was. Of the box. She was. What? What was she doing? She wasn't. She wasn't. She was actually jumping up and down. Well, I'm anything to win the game. <laughs> anything to win that game. <laughs> And so people watching at home, mm. you all know that I deserve the seat. Yes, you do. With my chest. <laughs> <laughs> King of the kitchen. Mm. Alrighty, so uh, what's happening here? We're, we're newcomers here, yeah. so what's so, happening? So, Chef, uh, can you tell us how you came about all of this, yeah. just while you're getting this ready? Yeah. Okay, um, yeah. 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 This looks so good. the yam. Okay. Yeah. That's 85% though. Mm -hmm. I didn't boil fully. No. How do you know it's 85, not 87? <laughs> <laughs> Use your thermometer. Not so soft. <laughs> yeah. Not so soft. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. So then what? I allow it to cool down a bit. Okay. Then before frying. Ooh. Well, before frying, I had to break the egg, mix with the uh, curry thyme and, um, and the onion. <laughs> So after that, then I started with the sauce. Wonderful, wonderful. This sauce is looking very, Beautiful. very uh, so spicy. Beautiful. <laughs> spicy. Look at that. that it's, it's pepper so sauce. Pepper sauce. Okay, yes, good. it's pepper sauce. Okay. As in, look at that sauce. Mm. Look at that pepper mm. sauce. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm Straight definitely going to try this out tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, wow. darling. Uh, uh, sorry. What? Yes. Go ahead. I was. Yeah. Yeah, you are here with two knives. That you can <laughs> and I'm wondering, you. are you about to fight Taekwondo? <laughs> I thought I always get the meal. No, no. Yes. I won the movie segment, and I won the game segment. Okay. Yes, you did. Mm. So I'm going to try this now. You really check then, hey, mister, <laughs> you owe me, you got parfait. You better not try me. You have parfait. Oh, look at that. Look at that, though. Ooh. Look at that. Mm. Look. I, can, I, can, I can smell that. Woo-hoo! Mm. Mm. So mm. what do you think? Mm. This pepper is from out 12. <laughs> from out 12. Wow, really? Mm. <laughs> As in, it hits me hard. <laughs> oh, but it tastes really good. It wow. looks really good. It actually tastes very good. All right then. Okay. Oh, wow. So, Chef. End thank the show. You end so the much. show. So, yeah. Okay. yeah, I should end here. You. you are sending me to end the show. Just Mr. end it quickly. <laughs> you, know, you, are you know what? End the show. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a wonderful time. <laughs> we'll see you all Monday next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>